when reality hits home for the narcissist. When the narcissist first met you, they had struck gold. They were comfortable. They were provided with physical ease and relaxation. They had safety and security. They had nothing to worry about. But it wasn't long until they began to take that for granted. They began to feel and display a lack of appreciation and gratitude. As though it didn't mean anything to them. As though they believed that anyone would be willing to do the same, if not more for them. They became used to having you around. They underestimated your value. And they were arrogant enough to believe that they could make it out there on their own without taking into consideration all of the struggles and hardships that people have to go through on a daily basis, even people who work very hard. And with what has been going on in the world recently, it has only made people's lives even more challenging. But the narcissist was arrogant enough to believe that they could do it on their own. They were arrogant enough to believe that they could surpass a level that billions of people could not. They were convinced that they were going to be fine without you. They were convinced that they were going to do better without you. And that's just the delusional, magical thinking of the narcissist. They have an exaggerated sense of their own abilities and importance. Once the narcissist has left you, they go out into the world with magical dreams and high expectations, thinking that they're going to make it big, thinking that they're going to do better without you, and they expect you to remain in the hole where they left you. They expect you to experience nothing but a life of misery and suffering after they're gone. That's why they leave you, because they really believe that the grass is greener on the other side. They always see other people's situations as more attractive than their own. Which caused them to take everything they had with you for granted. So they go out into the world, thinking that everything is going to be so much better. Thinking that they're going to make it big. Without realising that that's just not reality. It's not that simple. You can't just leave someone and then build the life of your dreams with someone else. There are always going to be setbacks and disappointments. And that's when the narcissist begins to realise that life without you isn't as fun or exciting as they were led to believe. when reality hits home for the narcissist. It is shocking. It is surprising. It causes them to feel anger and annoyance, provoked by what they perceive to be unfair treatment. Because they never expected their life to turn out this way. They thought it was going to be just fun and games. They thought it was going to be just amusing and enjoyable activities. But instead they ended up leaving that warm, cosy lifestyle to enter the cold, harsh world. Where life is unfair and people are only looking out for themselves. Where they have to wake up first thing in the morning just to make ends meet. where they can't afford the things that they want. They can't buy the food that they want to eat or the clothes that they want to wear. But they're still forced to wake up every morning for work just so they can survive. 
And that's just the life that they're forced to live now. After they traded everything they had with you. It's like they traded diamonds for garbage. And now they've got to live with it. Now they've got to accept that this is their life now. The narcissist is never going to come out and tell you that they are struggling. They can't let you have the satisfaction. They will tell you that their lives are great. Even if you see their car broken down on the side of the road. Even if you catch them working at McDonald's. They just can't let you have one over on them. Everything's a game. Everything's a competition. And they have to win. They have to be better than you. So they will pretend like everything is okay. They will pretend like they've moved on and everything's great. They will tell you they're happy with a small car. They're happy working at McDonald's. Even though deep down it may be killing them inside. Their pride and arrogance will not let them be vulnerable with you. Because they see it as though you want to look down on them. They see it as though you want to make them feel small. Because that's exactly what they want to do to you. They want to make you feel like you're nothing. Even if you have moved on and done better without them. It's all a head game to the narcissist. It doesn't matter what's right or true. It doesn't matter what is grounded in reality. They have their own reality. And in their world, it doesn't matter how their life appears. If they say they're happy and doing great, you should just accept it. But they're not doing great. They are struggling. And reality has hit home for them. They realize now that life isn't as easy as they thought it would be. It's not so easy to make money. It's not so easy to have the things you want. Or to live the life that you want to live. There are billions of people in this world who are struggling. Both in their careers and relationships. But the narcissist has this delusional mentality that they could come out on top and be better than everyone. When it's just not that simple. Some narcissists become successful. Some narcissists find their perfect doormat wives or husbands. But most of them don't even live average lives. They struggle, they suffer. And that's just how it is. Looking out for yourself isn't always going to get you what you want. Sometimes you have to help others so that they can help you. So that we can help each other. But to do that, you have to be around people who are supportive. People who have your best interests in mind. When most of the people that these narcissists surround themselves with are no different to them anyway. Birds of a feather flock together. And that is why the narcissist left you to be around people who are more on their level. People who they were more comfortable with. But trust and believe Reality has hit home for the narcissist. Even if they're posting all of these pictures on social media or telling you they're living their best lives, I can promise you that they are sick and tired of life. The only thing that's keeping them going is this delusional reality that they've created in their minds. They're not even living. They're just trying to survive. And that is how they will spend the rest of their lives.
thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click the bell icon to receive notifications for my future videos. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at narcissmovercoaching at gmail.com. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.